So new developments today in the Hillary Clinton email investigation. The LA Times reports that the FBI is preparing to interview some of her closest aides. Some analysts say the timing couldn't be worse with rival candidate Bernie Sanders sweeping the last few early voting contests. The timing is very, very treacherous. I would think the Democrats need to know whether or not they're about to nominate somebody for president who might be a criminal defendant in a felony prosecution before November. Right. They should know that now. Judge says they should know that now. Pete Snyder is a former candidate for lieutenant governor of Virginia and a Fox News contributor. Marjorie Clifton is former consultant to the Obama campaign and principal for Clifton Consulting. Welcome uh, to both of you. So Marjorie, uh, the judge says that you guys need to know. Democrats need to know. Well, and interestingly, Bernie Sanders hasn't gone after Hillary on this particular topic. He sort of stayed clear of it. And yes, absolutely, this is a thorn in the side of the Clinton campaign. They expect this will go on for another couple weeks. But in terms of the, the Sanders-Clinton runoff right now, um, Clinton very clearly has the lead. Uh, even though Sanders did have a few wins over the weekend, Clinton didn't even campaign in these states and was home for Easter with her family. Uh, because right now, looking at the states that we're going into um, in the South, in particular, Clinton will have a strong lead right, and gonna, does we'll have a strong that. number of delegates. We'll get to yeah. the Bernie Hillary matchup yeah. in just a moment, but I just want to get Pete's uh, take on the fact that the report is that now that they're going to sit down and start interviewing people, likely yeah. Hillary Clinton herself, Cheryl Mills is likely on that list, Huma mm -hmm. Abedin is likely on that list, Pete. Um, so as this, you know, sort of comes to the port, point where, I mean, you can't lie to the FBI, just ask Martha Stewart. Um, she got into trouble <laughs> doing that. So, so once you get to that point, you better make sure that you've, you've got your honest answers about whether or not you were passing information that was classified, regardless of how it was marked, because everybody knows it doesn't get marked that way, Pete. Well, look, it seems that the Easter Bunny brought chocolate and Skittles and what have you to, to Hillary's staff. They're, she's also going to be bringing subpoenas. I mean, this is just not what they want to be dealing with, not what Hillary Clinton wants to be dealing with. And, you know, Martha, you said that you know, they need to provide truthful answers. I think truthful answers in the Clinton camp and Clinton henchmen uh, really don't necessarily go well together. So this is going to be a long, arduous road for the Democratic Party uh, and for everyone surrounding Hillary Clinton. Uh, yeah. you know, they did the wrong thing with this. They shouldn't have had that email server a uh, homebrew. They should have uh, complied with the guidance provided by the State Department. And this is yet another disaster for the Hillary campaign. All right, so let's take a look at what Bernie Sanders also had a, a pesky uh, guest over the weekend. Here's what he was dealing with. Oh my Cute. The little bird flew in and sat on the podium, just hung around there for a while. Wasn't frightened by the clapping. Bernie's just smiling. He seems to be a pretty happy camper, uh, Marjorie. And it raises a lot of questions about the choice that the Democratic, I mean, the bird doesn't, but the bird is just cute. That's why we showed the bird. But the whole situation raises some questions about whether or not, you know, Democrats are, are warming up to Bernie Sanders. He says, don't count him out. Yeah, I think right now the question with Bernie Sanders is not as much, or do we think he might be the nominee? It did create some energy over the weekend, but with a group that's going to be critical in a general election for Clinton, um, and that is the young audiences and the super progressives, the activist progressives, and those are the ones that still are in the corner of Bernie Sanders. And so whether she can win those and what that represents is, I think, the bigger question uh, over the weekend and, and what his wins represent for the campaign. Yeah. Uh, Pete, in terms of the investigation, and the timeline. Uh, you know, James Comey is a very serious operator and a man who is respected pretty much universally as far as I know. Um, he doesn't strike me as someone who's going to be on any specific timetable. No, not at all. And, and James Comey is going to uh, uh, hopefully do the right thing. He's a good William and Mary man, my alma mater, and has <laughs> been, uh, been uh, walking the straight and narrow his entire life. So I don't think he's going to bend to political pressure nor a campaign timeline. This is going to be a long, tough, arduous task for the Hillary Clinton campaign, as you see in state after state. I mean, she lost five states uh, over the past week by massive margins. Democrat voters have issues with her honesty and her trustworthiness, and that's going to bleed into the general election and be a real problem for yeah. her. Definitely wait on uh, things over the weekend, to be sure. Um, thank you very much to you both. Good to see you this morning. The little bird gave us an opportunity to play the bird video as well. Bird, yeah. Just kind of like, right. it's a bad time. Spring, Easter. <laughs>